Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I am going to warn you a little more because a lot of times, you know, we take things for granted. We think because we're in public, nothing can happen. But let me share something with you. When I was 12 years old, from the time I was a child, I was watchful. It was just instinctively in me to be watchful. <clears throat> but I was walking, I left my friend's house. We had played handball all afternoon. And I was coming home and I called my mother to let her know that I lost track of time and it might be getting dark by the time I got home. But I was gonna run half the way. So my friend and I were trying to you know, think of what I could carry with me just as a form of protection. And she had an old uh, kitchen knife. It was a paring knife. And um, it was very sharp. And I remember being I remember a play rehearsal in junior high school and they were doing West Side Story and they were talking about how when you're in a gang, you don't hold a knife and stab somebody coming down. You hold a knife and you sh shoot it forward the way that people who know how to handle the switchblade, they, that's the motion. So what I did was I held the knife up under my sleeve. As if, if anybody comes out, I can whip it out and hold it this way so that they'll know I'm serious. I won't be walking around like, you better get away from me. No, I held it like I knew what to do with it, even though I did not. No more than cutting an apple open. Okay, so I'm walking down the street. I ran half the way and now I'm walking. And you know this guy rides up next to me on the bike. And as he rides next to me, and he goes up the street a little bit, then he slows down. And he's slowing down so much that I'm, because I walked fast, I'm actually gaining on him. But he's on the street and I'm on the sidewalk. So when I saw him start to keep steady pace with me, I'm not looking at him. My, I watch through my peripheral vision. I'm watching him like a hawk while I look like I'm looking forward. And I just move my arm and flex my wrist and pull that knife out and held it straight out and kept walking like you try it if you want to. I got something for you. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I know me. My mind was the type, it's do or die, baby, and I'm not gonna be the one dead. I mean, that was just my instinct. So when he saw the knife, the next thing I knew, I saw the bike take off and go on down the street, and he was gone about his business. And I got home safely. We have to be very aware of what's going on around us. We should not just be looking at what's going on in front of us or having our face buried in a cell phone, texting like an idiot. We have to be looking around. We have to be aware of what's going on in front of us, behind us, and on the side. If you think somebody's trying to follow you, you get out in the middle of traffic and stop traffic if necessary before you let anybody get near you. You draw attention to yourself. Stay in the public side. Don't run down somebody's alley. See, all of this stuff, you, you know, we think, you know, we, you know, we'll bring the word, we'll preach the word, we'll sing some songs to God, we'll praise and worship of course, but we have to remember, we don't live in heaven. We live right here in a hellish world that is run by Satan, not controlled. God's in control, but we live in a sinful setting. We are like sheep among wolves. So we must be wise as, ser as serpents and harmless as doves. Unless somebody tries to hurt you, then you, know, you may not want to be that harmless. But my point is, you really, really, really need to always be aware and teach each other different forms of escape, different things. You got a big mouth like I do? Open that mouth wide and do the New York thing. Help! I mean, just do what you got to do to get attention. Bang on the top of a garbage can sit on top, jump up on top of a car if you got to do that to get away from somebody. But you 
do whatever you got to do. Do not sit there and try to be polite to total strangers. You don't owe that to them because you have no idea what they got planned for you. Mother has spoken. And I d didn't say Mama Pat either. Mother has spoken. 